Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to give you a quick review video on Fighting Pistol from Tactical Response. This is James Yeager's uh, gun school. If you watched me do it in the class, I, I kind of moved the gun in my hand a little bit. Okay? Kind of tilt, turned the gun in my hand a little bit. That's on purpose. Because if you can touch it while you're shooting, you'll touch it while you're shooting. And guess what happens? My falls out. If, if I don't even have to ask people if we're shooting and a dude's mag falls out, I go up and go, hey, take that extended fucking mag release off. And people, I can't reach it, I can't reach it. You're not supposed to be able to reach it. It's kind of like the, the fucking missiles and they got the two keys and you can't reach them. That's what you fucking keep your fucking shit up. I took Fighting Pistol just after the NRA show. It was only about an hour and a half from Nashville. So it was worth the drive over uh, since we're already going to be in Tennessee. Now, this class was a big class. There was 52 students, I believe. But he had enough instructors for 52 people. Like, he had a ratio, it was like 8 to 1, 9 to 1, I don't remember. But there was plenty of instructors there for that larger group. And they actually split up the shooting sessions. So one group would be shooting, and the next group was reloading. And you just rotate them back and forth. So the downtime you had was spent reloading your pistol, uh, making sure everything was cleaned up, ready to go. And then there were instructors walking the back line, including James Jaeger, uh, there just to, you know, talk to you, had any questions. So the downtime was very minimal and you know it didn't feel like a large class. You don't have to look somewhere else. Two shots, two shots to each even number dot. Search your magazine looking at the target. Okay. Okay. Um, and when every time we wreck the slide, just run over the top and not swing shot. Okay. Fight! Like that. Oh, no. Put it back and let it go. There's a few points that I picked up from this class that I really enjoyed, different than other classes that I'd taken for my pistol training. Is one that he starts from the very beginning on how to draw your weapon, when you know how to hold it, how to draw it, what you're looking for, and then he goes through and he talks about the medical training. You know, talks about you know you've deployed your weapon now, you've actually had to use it uh, to save a life. And then he talks about the medical training, and then he talks about what to say to the police officers, what to say to the lawyer, and, you know, and kind of runs you through the gamut between the point you draw your pistol to the point where you now have a lawyer. So I really like that, because I've had different sections of that class, but no one ever brought it all together in one package, and I really like that. You only got left or right? There are a few points that I picked up in this class that I really liked and I wanted to share them with you guys. And it's one of the facts that, you know, why do you carry your concealed weapon? Whether that be a knife, whether it be a gun, why do you carry it? Well, I carry mine to protect my family, protect me. So that's a, that's a pretty good point, I felt like. I've thought about that for a while. But Jaeger talks about you carry a, a, your weapon to save lives. You don't carry your weapon to, to kill people, to harm people. You carry it to save lives. And I was like, that's really cool. Like, that makes sense to me because that's why I carry my gun. I carry my gun to save lives, whether it be my life, my wife, my children, uh, family members, you know, innocent, the old lady that's getting robbed or whatever. I carry my firearm to save lives. So that's why I carry my medical kit. That's why I carry an IFAC to save lives. And like, hey, that makes sense. That's kind of goes with what my channel talks about. Hey, you're fine. Well, I'll tell you when you got.
I said it's getting top off. And that first shot was a dead good shot. I just fucking made a package job. Wow. I do one of the things that Jaeger talks about is when you draw your weapon what to say so draw your weapon you sidestep and you yell stop that's all you yell it's on the line draw your weapon amen start moving You don't st yell stop and then yell out obscenities and stuff like that because all they're going to remember is the obscenities. So they're going to be like, hey, that skinny guy called him an MF and then shot him. I was like, huh, that makes sense. So if you s just yell stop, then the bystanders are going to hear, hey, that skinny guy told him to stop and he didn't stop and he shot him. So there you go. I'm like, that makes sense. So there's a couple of little things, a couple of little pointers there that he throws out there in the class that I was like, man, that makes sense. Like, that was cool. So on day one of Fighting Pistol, we came in and did a couple hours of classroom time. And then we were going to the range, and I think it was before lunch, we actually were before at the range. And it started raining, of course. That seems about right. Seems about par for the course. So having rain gear, having a hat, all that was super important, which is on his list of supplies to take. Uh, if you go to his website, you can see the list of supplies. If it's on that list of supplies, you need it because they're going to train. Whether it's freezing cold, whether it's raining, they're going to train, which I thought was awesome. So having the rain gear really helped. On day two, uh, we did a couple hours of classroom and then we were back out to the range and we spent the majority of the day back at the range again. So it's, it's a good split between classroom, which you need, and then also out in the field, which obviously is why you're taking the class, is to shoot your gun. So he, um, you know, it's a good mixture of, of classroom versus range time. But there again, there's knee pads is a good option to have. If it's on the list, you need to take it. Stop! Start moving. Fight! Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Stay with it. Stay with it. Ceasefire. 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 Fight a set scan. Top off. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, the cameraman was kick ass though. That's right, yeah. The last piece of advice I'll give you for taking fighting pistol or I guess any class at Tactic Response is going with an open mind. There were things that, you know, that was taught, I was like, eh, I don't know. But I really thought about them and things like that. But while you're in that class, you have to keep an open mind and you do it their way, which is respectively the truth. And, you know, they're the instructors, they're the experts. You're the student, so when you go into this class, do it their way. For two days, just do it their way. And when you come home and you have time to think about it, maybe adopt some of those things, and then things you don't agree with, things you didn't like, don't adopt them. So just go in there with an open mind. You're not the you know you're not the expert in this class. They are. So you're the student. Just absorb as much as you can, and then take home what you want to. So I hope this video helped. If you're thinking about taking a class of tactical response, I think the training is super important. Uh, one of the things I've started saying now at the end of my videos is you need the right gear and the right training. And this is true. This is, goes back to medical. This goes back to firearms. That you need the right gear, the right training, because you never know when you'll be the first responder. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. So this guy right here was like my fifth subscriber ever on YouTube and I still remember that night uh, Sucha did a video and I remember sitting on my couch like laughing because getting so many subscribers it was funny and um, so I appreciate this and also look what he has right here in his range bag ammo there a nice skinny medic rip away pouch so awesome.